convert hexadecimal to binary, what we'll do it, uh, we'll do it in two steps. We'll first convert hex to decimal. And then from decimal to binary. Let's take a hexadecimal number. Let's take uh, 11. 11 in hexadecimal is different from 11 in decimal. So what is the decimal equivalent of hexadecimal 11? To avoid confusion, we usually use different prefixes for each of them. For hexadecimal, we use the suffix h. And for binary, we use the suffix b. So if I write 11b, it means this is a binary representation, not decimal, not hexadecimal. Now, to convert from any of the systems to decimal, what we have to do, we have to multiply with the power of that base. Like we had seen in this example for binary to decimal, we had multiplied the binary number with the powers of the base, each digit with the power of the base. The base of binary is 2 and we were taking the powers of it, 0, 1, 2, 3 and we were multiplying each of these digits with that power. Similarly, we will do for hex. For hex, the base is 16. So, we will take 11 and multiply each of them with the powers of 16. 16 to the power 0 and 16 to the power 1. So, it gives us 1 into 16 to the power 1 plus 1 into 16 to the power 0. That gives us 7. 16 plus 1 equals to 17. Let's try another example. Let's take 17. So, uh, 17 hex. So, it becomes 1 into 16 to the power 1 plus 7 into 16 to the power 0. That makes it 16 plus 7 equals to 23. Now, once we have the decimal number, we convert it to binary. So, to convert to binary, we will take this. This was the decimal for 11 in hexadecimal. This is 11H. So, let's take 17 and convert it to binary. So, it gives us 8 remainder 1. 2, 4 times is 8, remainder is 0. 2, 2 times is 4, remainder is 0. And 2, 1 times is 2 and remainder is 0. So our binary value is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we can say 11H, 11 in hexadecimal is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 in binary. So if we convert this to decimal now, let's see. This is 1, 2, let's take another color here. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So, wherever we have 1, we take those numbers and add them. So, we take 16 plus 1 equals to 17. This is the value which we had got here. Now, one other way to quickly convert hex to binary, a simple way is, we take each of the digits in hexadecimal and we write the binary equivalent of them. So, the binary equivalent of 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. Remember, for hexadecimal, it always takes 4 binary places. 1 hexadecimal character is equal to 4 binary places. So, this one also becomes 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 11H in hexadecimal gives us, we take the binary of this, this is 0, 0, 0, 1 and the binary of this 0, 0, 0, 1. That gives us total 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is this. Similarly, we can do for another number, let's say uh, 17. So, for 17, the hexadecimal, sorry, the binary of 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. The binary of 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. So, we write it in the same sequence together. We get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. The hexadecimal. 23 is the decimal and this is the binary. So, if we convert 23 by 2, it gives us 11 times remainder 1, 5 times remainder 1, 2, 4, 2 times 
is 4, remainder is 1 and then 2 1 times remainder is 0. So we have 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1. Similarly, to convert binary to hexadecimal, we have binary to hexadecimal. So binary to hexadecimal will follow the reverse process. Let's say we have 0 1 0 0 0 1. So what I told you was hexadecimal is equal to one hexadecimal place is equal to four binary places. So we'll take four binary places and we'll add extra zeros here because they won't have any weight and the hexadecimal value of this is 1 the hex of this is 1 so it gives us 11 in hexadecimal this is what we had calculated here so the binary 10001 is the binary for 11 hexadecimal which is what we have got here similarly let's check for this we have 0001 0, 1, 1, 1. We'll segregate them in parts of 4. This gives us 1 and this gives us 7. So this is the hexadecimal. Now remember, when we write in programs, it's only the representation that we are writing. But ultimately in the memory, it's only 0 and 1 which is getting stored. So I can take a variable a equals to 5 and what gets stored is the binary of this that is 101 one. or I can write a equals to 0 b 101 one. both are the same thing I can also take another representation let's say I want to store this value 17 in hexadecimal or the binary or the decimal value is 23 I can write a equals to 23 what gets stored in memory is 10111 one, one. or I can write a equals to 0 b 10111 or I can write a equals to 0x 0x is the suffix for hexadecimal 17 all three of them are exactly the same thing but with different representations sometimes it embedded systems it becomes very easy for us to write the binary representations for example we have different registers where we work on bits in embedded system so the registers will be 8 bits long and we will be setting each of these bits individually. So that time it becomes easier for us to write just the bit value instead of write, converting it to decimal and writing the decimal numbers.